Hello, good morning my YouTube family. This is your host Aaron here. This is Times with the Narcissist Explained. Those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. I hope you find some useful information, some eye-opening uh, jewels that can uh, help you on you guys' journeys. Because that's what this channel is for. is for helping those who are uh, going through certain things. Because we don't just talk about narcissism here, we talk about life itself here. And it's important so we can get a better understanding of what's really going on in the world today, right? But today's topic is an important one. We're going to talk about how narcissists neglect their responsibilities, right? Most chosen ones in empaths have been placed in positions where we had to take care of a lot of different responsibilities a lot of times we had to be the one to nurse people back to health we had to be the ones to take somebody else's kids where they needed to go um you know or we're the one that uh sometimes family mem members or other people they trust us with their finances they trust our judgment and our advice that we give them for their financial ventures and things like that uh, some people have trusted us with uh, with organizing events and things like that you know they'd be like okay Aaron I want you to be the host of this 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 and this and a lot of times we used to be like why 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 me why us that's because chosen ones are known to not neglect their responsibilities we're known to handle our responsibilities we're known to try to fulfill our obligations and to keep our promises if we make them now things happen in life sometimes you're just not going to fulfill all the obligations that you want sometimes life will throw you a curveball you know and you just have to adjust or just accept that you know you weren't able to fulfill that obligation like you wanted to to that person or to that group but people depend on chosen ones because we are reliable we are responsible we they can depend on us for whatever issues that they face you know what I'm saying narcissists however they would rather take whatever responsibilities that are in their face and they'd rather pass it off to somebody else here, I don't want to do it. Here, you take it. You take it. You know? And you'd be surprised how many people are like that out here. How how they'll just, like, never face up to the task at hand. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're too lazy to want to handle their own issues or or handle uh, the, the obstacles or the objectives that... Or certain things that need to be done. Certain things that are important and I require anything that's important the narcissist is not a good person to rely on especially when it comes down to big life changing decisions some people got with a narcissist and the narcissist they depend on the narcissist to uh, put their hand in a plan so that way things can flow a certain way but the narcissist was so lazy so arrogant I don't feel like we should do it this way. I feel like we should do it this way. And then they messed the whole thing up. You know what I'm saying? And this could have been friends. This could have been family. This could have been uh, strangers that you just met. And you're trying to, you know, get some stuff done, some things handled. So that way it's better on both sides. But this is the thing. Over the years, we had to learn that we can't build with everybody. We can't save everybody. Yes, people like to depend on chosen ones and empaths for a lot of different things, but it's really up to us to maintain our boundaries when dealing with people because a lot of times when you're dealing with people, 
a lot of times you're dealing with their karma, okay? Their issues ain't meant to be solved, all right? It's not meant to be solved at all. But the thing about it is, it's like our hearts, man, our hearts can get us in trouble, you know? Because we do sincerely care about humanity, but there's a lot of, uh, we call them halamitsu, soulless beings, people who are just wanderers, vagabonds. There's a lot of those out here. And they will dump every bit of issue and because they don't want to face their own responsibilities. They want you to, to come in, rectify the situation, put in your hard work and effort just to get them out of whatever trouble they're in. And then when you do get them out of that trouble, they do not appreciate you afterwards, right? So this is the difference between narcissists and chosen ones, you know, chosen ones, including empaths. We don't, we don't try to neglect our responsibilities. I don't care if we're going to college. I don't care if it's a job. If we have a job, we do our best when it comes down to that job. Even if it comes down to like customer service, we will try to give the customers what they need, give them the best experience. We'll try to be courteous. You know what I'm saying? And if, and sometimes, you know, you have a few rotten apples that'll come and try to disturb your flow. But overall, the way we handle responsibility, right? And, and the truth be told, that's why we are so important in society today because without us being present, most people just neglect so much different things. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we are dependable. We are well-rounded. We do handle business the way we're supposed to handle. Most most empaths and chosen ones are about business. We don't play games. You know what I'm saying? If there's a task in hand, we'll get it done. Narcissists, however, majority of them, I'm not saying all of them, majority of them, do not like to handle their responsibilities. They're too lazy. They don't want to do certain duties that are required to be in a marriage. They don't want to do certain duties that require you to be in a friendship. They don't want to do certain duties uh, that require you uh, to... Uh, they don't want to do certain duties that uh, help them in the long run. You know what I'm saying? They're just... It's like instead of thinking about the future of the work that they could put in they'd rather dump it off on somebody else okay here you take it i don't want to take it you take it okay and they do this because they know how strong we are how capable we are and they just don't have the strength of the resilience to go forward and 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 get shit done you know what i'm saying all right so think about that think how resilient you are think how dependable you are how uh, how capable you are of handling so many different tasks. Sometimes you had to multitask and juggle two different tasks at once, but you handled it and you did it well. And this is how people become recognized by the universe is how you handle your responsibilities, how you handle what's placed in front of you, right? But we learn as we go and we get better, but nonetheless, as long as you have the intentions to uh, handle the task at hand, you will always make it. All right. So this is Tons with the Narcissist Explained. Thank you all for coming through. And y'all be on the lookout, man. I got some more content on the way. I know it's been a little bit. I know I had y'all waiting. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, man, I, I love y'all. Shout out to everyone y'all who's been uh, watching the content, commenting. I see y'all. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate you all. I hope y'all enjoy the message. All right. I love y'all. Y'all please be safe out there on this Monday morning. All right. I love y'all. Bye-bye.